Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the Tarot Lessons 101. We continue our journey finally coming face to face with the Hermit, the Prophet of the Eternal, the Magus of the Voice of Power, Zodiacal Trump of Virgo, Mercury Rules, Mercury Exalted, Tree of Life Path number 20, Card number 9. In numerology, the number nine is significant for completions, as it is the last number of the single digits, which are known as cardinal numbers. But we'll get into that with the minor arcanas when we get there. Representing the culmination of wisdom and experience, and buzzes with the energy of endings and new beginnings. The hermit is that I am thinking. It's about being alone. It's not about being lonely. Key essential, there is a big difference between alone and lonely. As an example, have you ever been frustrated because no one around you can see what you see? Or if there is a certain situation or circumstance that's going on in your life and everyone around you is experiencing the same situation unfolding yet, Everyone sees a different perspective or has a different opinion than you. Maybe indicating that the feeling no one is hearing you and you feel the need to go sit and be still so you can get your thoughts in order. That's exactly what this card expresses and represents. The Hermit is one of the few most intriguing cards in the Major Arcana. It shows a lonely hooded elder man looking down while holding a light with a bright shining star, also known as the Star of David. It speaks about solidarity, good or bad, depending by external factors. It may first seem like a very simple picture, but it's much more complex and deeper than that at first glance. But it will always primarily focus in solitude or the need for solitude a desire for peace and introspection, organization. The light that he's holding doesn't shine very far out. It's just for him and anyone that would be in close proximity. He's looking away into the future. He's looking right in front of him. He's got his staff to lean on in case he gets weary because he's not going to stop until he finds the answers he needs. This card gets a lot of negative reactions. People often tell me he looks lonely, sad. It's an interesting point of view. For sure, right? The gray robe doesn't help. That equally gray and bleary background doesn't help either. This card reminds me in the minor arcana of the two of swords. The shut the hell up so I can hear myself think card. <laughs> the interesting thing to look at here is, for example, in the minor, the two of swords, she is in solitude seeking for peace and quiet. The hermit is seeking peace and quiet, but to get answers. I can't tell you how many times I've done readings with clients that get this card, and by the time the reading has come to its conclusion, the client will tell me, I knew it, or I felt it, or I knew that this was going to be the answer, etc. Only clarifying that the answers are always within ourselves. We just have to be still, quiet, in contemplation to receive it, to understand the message, or to understand the answers that are within us to hear or pay attention to the little voice within. It's time to analyze and take inventory of our lives or what our current situation may be by doing so. It will allow you to get clarity, enlightenment, and understanding. Whenever you see the hermit card, the key words that should come to mind is solitude, reflection, soul searching, wisdom, consideration, introspection, inner guidance, and healing. Often this card signifies a temporary moment of great need for solitude, where one needs to discover oneself. This may be needed to learn a new practice, a new craft, or simply 
to gather strength, whether this is mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually, this card often encourages you to take some time for yourself, for spirituality or spiritual practice. It's key at this point in your life, maybe currently going on a journey or letting go of external events or situations that are pushing you to further embrace or nurture your spiritual side. The hermit is asking you to not only go through this process, but to be present in the process, whether it's through journaling, meditating, or etc. If you look at the picture here, the staff is a symbol of power and authority, which he is holding in his left hand, which represents higher awareness and his subconscious mind. In the depiction, the staff representing the hermit's ability to use isolation and the knowledge gained is a tool on his path to take it even higher or to higher levels of awareness. The star inside his lantern, a representation of guidance, wisdom, in search for truth and knowledge. The man himself is alone and in isolation. He is in peace within the solitude in search of answers or understanding not only shedding light for him, but to see the steps he's taking. If anyone should be around, it also speaks about the willingness to share light or guidance or wisdom to others around the hermit. The hermit does not isolate himself out of fear, but more to temporarily remove himself from everyday situations and circumstances to better understand himself, his wants and his needs, self-analysis to solve the problem of one's mental and or emotional state. It's not uncommon to get wrapped up in the everyday life struggles. Sometimes we all need to press the stop button to take it all in, to internalize, to reflect, or to take a deep breath, to catch our breath. Also speaking about the years or struggles that one must go through in order to gain maturity and deeper understanding. After all, he is holding a lantern here with a star in it that is shining bright, speaking to that of teaching or helping others, guiding them to find their inner truths. He is the light bearer, the light worker, illuminating for others as well as for himself. He is pure with intent. Of course, with everything in life, there is light and there is darkness. And in its positive aspect, it's wisdom or seeking wisdom. On the negative, it would be hiding away or running away from the world, being extremely closed off to the outside world out of fear. Like in all of our other lessons, who does the hermit card rem remind you of? Is it a person in your life, a character from a movie or a show? To me, the hermit is the true representation of every mentor that has ever came into my life. The teachers and healers, those that carry wisdom within themselves through many years of experience or knowledge. For some, it has been passed down to them by their ancestors. I hope that this video has helped you understand a little more of the hermit card. As always, it's been a pleasure, my lovelies, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye-bye. Oh. <gasps>